So I'm going to pull some gameplay out of my butt and just try to talk about something that I liked in Infinite Warfare. I don't have any Infinite Warfare gameplay that I haven't already used, even used twice. So uh, I don't know, I'm kind of pressed for time right now. I don't have time to get new gameplay, so I'm going to be talking about something I liked from Infinite Warfare, but gameplay will be playing of whatever game you're seeing here. So anyway, Infinite Warfare is one of my favorite CODs, and if you've followed my channel for a while, you know why. I've made it very clear, I've pointed a hundred things out that I think make that game stand out above the rest. And one of my favorite features that needs to return in Modern Warfare is the addition of double XP tokens. The double XP token is probably one of the most underrated ideas in Call of Duty history, and it changed the way Infinite Warfare's progression system worked by being very subtle and very pro player. Now, double XP bonuses or temporary double XP bonuses are nothing new to Call of Duty, and they've been around, I think, since Black Ops 2. I think you get them from like Mountain Dew bottles. Uh, I know also Modern Warfare 3 had them as well, but either way, they always gave you double XP for a certain period of time, whereas Infinite Warfare's tokens, that yes, they were obtained by RNG through supply drops, which I don't love, but I was always happy to get them because they allowed you to activate double XP after any of your matches. So if you happen to a team deathmatch and you do really bad and you get five kills and 50 deaths, let's just say, you can activate it and you can double your 500 XP and turn that into a thousand XP and that's pretty cool. Or you can wait until you have an amazing 20,000 XP game and you can double it up to 40,000. In the end match results screen, you get a prompt to say activate double XP token and if you activated it, it would take your tallied XP from that match and like the name suggests, doubles it. In my previous video, I talked about how I want Modern Warfare to give you a gun for each prestige, but a lot of people have trouble prestiging because they don't play the game a lot, or maybe they're just not very good, so it's hard for them to maximize XP gains. Because Modern Warfare will definitely have supply drops, this is something I would love to see added to them. Because double XP tokens get you to your next level faster. Getting to your next level faster gets you to max prestige faster, and getting to max prestige faster in a game with prestige weapons, it's pretty obvious. It gets you to new content quicker. I think locking content behind prestiging without adding multiple ways to double your XP is kind of a bad gig. I would almost love to see it that every time you rank up in Modern Warfare, you get a double XP token that you can use. So let's say there's 55 ranks per prestige, you could maybe save up 55 double XP tokens and then your next 55 matches could basically have double XP, which is really good. Or maybe only your next 25 matches if you don't feel like they're all worth using a token on. That's the beauty of it, player choice. I know people don't have a ton of time to grind. I know people don't like progression systems that just lock them out of half the game. I get that. Some people don't even like having to level up 13 times to get an assault rifle, let alone prestige 10 times to get one. But being able to decide what matches are worth doubling the XP on and which matches aren't is a great feature and it better return. Now at the time of recording this, I haven't uploaded that video about prestige weapons yet, but I do predict there's going to be some people disagreeing with me and some people giving me maybe even really good arguments, like not just arguments, good arguments about why they shouldn't do that. I do want to say that I understand that everybody has a different lifestyle and they don't want to feel like half the game they paid for is stuck behind prestiging. That's why I think the double XP tokens need a return. If they have contracts in the game or daily challenges, I think completing them should also grant you double XP. And since we know there's going to be cosmetic weapon variants, and we've seen cosmetic weapon variants in Call of Duty's past give you XP bonuses, I think the game should launch with each gun having a 10% bonus XP variant of itself. So you open a supply drop, and you get like a dumb helmet, a stupid calling card. Uh, that's another video I need to do, so more on that later. But you open the supply drop, you get like a helmet, you get a calling card, and then you get a Mark II variant of a gun you like that gives you 10% more XP. So then you're getting 10% more XP with each kill from that weapon, and then you do really well with it, you have that 10% bonus, and then you activate one of your double XP tokens at the end. I think that would be fucking marvelous. And I also think weapon variants that give you more XP is also an Infinite Warfare thing. 
So yeah, I guess that's other that's another infinite warfare feature. I didn't even realize it as I was saying it. But giving you variants that give you more XP, double XP tokens, plus double XP weekends, and challenges that you can complete that give you double XP for a certain period of time, I think people could plow through prestiges a lot faster and the progression system would be a lot more rewarding and rapid fire instead of it being a long grueling gr grind that's hard to say a long grueling grind that really ends up with nothing to show for it except some bragging rights look how much of the game I played anyway let me know what you think down in the comment section below because I think the progression systems and unlock systems are integral to Call of Duty success so let me know what you guys would do with the progression system if you had the opportunity to change it thank you for watching and I'll see you when I see you goodbye